All right, guys, sorry about that. I don't know what happened, but my, my screen capture software crashed. So I guess I'm splitting this up into two videos. Anyways, let's continue. So let's go here. All right, and uh, we had just gotten done putting the um, IP address on the Florida Manager. So um, let's go ahead and get to the GUI. All right, so we'll put in the IP address of 10. Dot ten dot ten dot two five zero and this is normal so it's just saying that it cannot verify the cert and that's fine because on the Florida manager it is self signed. Alright, so we'll go ahead and fix that. There we go. Or click through it. And it's gonna be admin no password to get in for the first time. So now interesting enough, uh, starting with six O you are now prompted to change that default password, which is probably a good idea. Oh, excuse me. So, you know, uh, where it was blank before, I'm now going to put in a super secret password so I don't get prompted for this again. And as you can see, this is for the manager. So uh, we have all of our different management panes, so on and so forth. And if we go here to our s system settings, We'll be able to verify our different licenses. So it looks like, you know, even though it's a, a trial license, it will still give us 10 devices that we can manage, so on and so forth. So um, one thing that I did want to do in this video before I, I stop is um, turn this bad boy into a Forti Analyzer. So a Forti Analyzer and a Forti Manager share the same platform. Uh, you can just collect log files with the Forti Analyzer and do analytics and reporting. And uh, in our lab environment, um, you know, we, we can save our resources in GNS3 by just making it perform both tasks. And to do so is, is pretty difficult. You see where it says Forti Analyzer? We go ahead and turn on Forti Analyzer. <laughs> And it's saying, hey, uh, this will reboot the device, and that's fine. All right. And uh, let me just close out of the GUI here. And then let's go back to Forta Manager, and we can actually see that rebooting. So um, it will take a moment once again. And uh, I do believe that um, once the free license is kicked on with the Forti Manager and Forti Analyzer here, it still gives us the ability to collect log files. So it's a good way to practice also for your Forti Analyzer version of the NSC5. So now the NSC5 is Fortinet certification for Forti Analyzer, Forti Manager. It's two separate exams. And uh, once again, these videos are for my, my students, um, my participants, so they can have a, a place to practice for their exams. So, uh, but once that is up, looks like it's coming up, it's going to build a database for the Forte Analyzer. So, and there it is. It's kicking on all the daemons, all the configurations. But let's go ahead and hop back into our PC1 here. And let's see if we can't get to the GUI again. So, here we go. All right, so 10. There it is. And lo and behold, with my new super secret password. All right, so uh, where we had our management panes for the Florida Manager, we now have into addition to that the features of the Florida Analyzer. So we can have two in one. So let's go over to settings real quick just to confirm this. And it looks like it is giving us a gigabyte of logs a day. So that seems pretty normal for this license. Still gives us 10 here. Uh, but most importantly, you know, is the fact that we now have all of our 40 analyzer features turned on. So, um, so guys, pretty much that is it just for this video. The whole point was just to get it to this point. The point was just to get it to this point. I suck at these, by the way. I apologize. Not a YouTuber. Um, anyways, but as you can see, um, at at uh, at uh, this level of GNS3, we can at least get it configured, up and running, access the GUI. And then the next videos, and that should actually be all you guys need from my courses to really reiterate what we've gone over in our lessons for you to be able to practice 
this appliance or appliances in a safe environment. That's the whole goal here of, of configuring this in GNS3. Now, I'm going to take it a little bit further because I've gotten requests for it. And like I said, I have no plans whatsoever on how to do this, but I'm essentially going to um, just do a brief overture of the Forta Manager and Forta Analyzer and its features and some of its basic configurations just to get people familiar with the products. Because unlike the Forta Gate, which is pretty intuitive, uh, especially the Forta Manager, uh, it's not. So you at least need to know a little bit of what you're doing before it can make sense. And I don't think a lot of people, at least it's been my experience, a lot of people don't realize how powerful of a platform it is. So, uh, so in my next video, I am just going to explore the GUI and all these different management panes, and I think I'm going to go from there. And then after that, I'm going to start building an environment almost like it was in a production environment. So we'll go through like maybe some best practices, uh, some settings, we'll import in some FortiGates, we'll import in some logging. And I'm also going to take advantage of maybe just trying some things out with you guys in videos and see what we can do in our lab environments. So, um, but I hope you guys found this helpful. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. And I will see you guys next time. So.